In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate images in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get started, you have to first of all go into the description and you will find two links over there. So the first link will be this one. This is a hot air balloon and there is a landscape. So first of all, go ahead and copy this or you can download this if you want to and then also download this texture so both links will be in the description you can download them then i have a tool that you can use to remove the background of your image so this hot air balloon image go ahead and copy the link come to this website over here you can log on to this and you will find that there is an option of uploading the image so if you have downloaded the image you can upload that or what you can do is you can simply click on the url and here you can paste the link and click ok so if there is a problem what you can do is simply go back to the image click open in new tab copy this from here and come back and then what you can do is once again go to the url paste the image and now you will see that we have the background room. So here we have a balloon and here we have a landscape and the background has been removed. So you can go ahead and download this. This is for the free version. You will get a lower quality, but in order to get a higher quality, you have to pay this. But you can go ahead and download the lower quality that will work just fine. So once you have the images, so I have this photo over here without the background and then I also have this texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is creating a new fusion composition as far as animating image. Okay, so let's click on the fusion composition that we created and now what we can do is drag in background and connect it with the media. So since this is the video that Maybe we can share on Instagram. We can make it for an Instagram story. What I'm going to do is click on background, go over to the image and over here, you will see we have width, height, and then we also have pixel aspect. So unclick the auto resolution and change the width to 1080 and the height at 1920. All right. So once we have that, now we can drag the image that we have. And even before that, we can also change the background. So let's say that we change this color to gradient. And now what we can do is connect this image that we have and also resize this. So for that, I'm going to drag this transform node and I'm going to set the position at 2.55. And now let's position this at the bottom and you can click control on your keyboard. And while you press control, you can move, you can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So let's zoom out to just see that if this is within the screen or not. And let's now zoom in once again. And now go back to the background and over here you can change the gradient. So Click on this gradient, select this, and now what you can do is select pick screen color. And from here, you can select this light color, or you can select dark color. And now it's OK. Go over to this one, click this white one, then click this white color over here. Now let's simply drag this, and once again, let's pick the screen color. So this time, I'm going to go with a lighter one. Make sure that one side is a bit dark and one side is a bit light. And you can also position this like this as well. So we have our gradient. Now what we need to do is we need to create mask. I'm going to now create a mask. So simply select this polygon tool, drag this over here and select all the points so that this balloon is covered. And now connect it with media. Okay, now you'll see that it will not be, it will not give us the right 
settings. So we need to just adjust it once again. And now you can adjust it by moving these points. So once we have that, you will see that the background is gone now because this is masked. And what we can do is copy all of these and simply select all these nodes, hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And now what you can do is connect this merge one to this merge and this merge to media out. Now go over to Polygon and select Inward. And this will give you this background so now what we have here is that if we remove this transform of this first polygon you will see that this is the balloon and if we remove this one you will see that this is the background so both of these things are adjusted now now what we can do is we can set an animation so let's go over at 10 go over to this one the background and select the transform and over here you can set a keyframe at center go back to zero and then drag this down so that this moves out the screen and then zoom out a bit okay and now go over to spline select your transform and what we can do is hit select all these keyframes and hit s on your key let's play this now all right this looks fine and now we can also animate this balloon all right so now select your balloon so the node that we have with connected with the balloon so this one is the node connected with the balloon i'm going to select the transform node and go over to center and here simply right click and you will get modify width then select per term. Once you do that, you will get this modifier over here. Go over to this modifiers tab. And here you can set the strength to 0 0.3. The wobble to 0 0.5. And the speed to 0 0.5 as well. Okay, so now let's play this. And you will see that we get this animating effect that this balloon is basically animating or you can say that this moving in the sky so this will give you that effect for the balloon and now what we can do is add a text in the background so let's just move both of these and add a text so simply drag this text node connected with the background and you can type in any text you want i'm just going to type in here and let's go ahead set this to extra bold Increase the size a bit like this. All right, so once we animate this over here, let's go over to 20, select the text, go over to layout, and create a keyframe at center. And then go back to 5, and what you can do is move this out of the screen. So make sure that this is all the way out of the screen. Let's play this to see how this looks at the moment. All right, so now what we can do is select the text, go over to spline, make sure all the other nodes are unselected, select your keyframes for the text and hit S. Well, here you can see we have the animation like this. You can also go ahead and change the text if you want. I'm going to go with extra bold italic. So let's see how this looks now. All right, great. So now what we need to do is we need to create a timeline. So go back to the timeline and over here, what you can do is right click over here, go over to timeline and hit create new timeline. And here unselect the use project settings and go over to format select use vertical resolution and this will give you the settings that we can use for sharing it on instagram or instagram stories or even snapchat so these are the options for that vertical resolution then simply hit create 
and now drag your fusion composition to the timeline. So here you can see we have our fusion composition, but now we can also add a texture. Right click and create a new fusion composition. Let's call this texture and go over to texture. So just drag the texture that we downloaded and connect it with the media out. Go ahead and add a transform node. Make sure that this is connected with the median or your texture. And if it is not connected, then simply you can manually do that. Or one other way to do that is to make sure you press, keep on pressing the ship and then simply interact this and you will see that there is a line over here. So once the blue line appears, just simply name this. So this will get connected. And this is how you can connect nodes quickly. Now go over to the transform and go over the edges. And in the edges, go ahead and change the canvas to mirror. And then right click the center, go over to modify width, and then select shape. And then once again, right click, but this time at angle, select modify width, then once again, select shape. Go over to the modifiers tab. And first of all, in the transform center, go over and change the smoothness to four and change the maximum to 360. Now what you can do is repeat the same thing for the angle transform as well. And now go ahead and make sure that you have your transform selected and click control space and then search for stop motion. And this will add a stop motion over here and then set the repeat frame repeat at that. And this will give you a repeating effect. So you don't have to manually animate them keyframe by keyframe. You can see that this is automatically doing it for you. Now go back to the timeline and drag this texture over your animating image. Go over to this tab over here and within the composite, go ahead and change the composite mode to top light. And you could also decrease the opacity if you want. Let's keep this at 80. And now if you play this. You can see that we have a nice looking animating image. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.